so today we are going to do the maintenance uh, do zoom B1 and then uh, this is for uh, oil change on the 2017 uh, Honda uh, Pilot and this is the Elite uh, Edition okay yeah we're gonna go ahead and then I pop out the hood put the leveler up and then uh, let's go into the front and then pop it open so we're gonna go ahead and then uh, pop out the hood Alright, so we're going to remove the dipstick right here, alright, the orange on the left hand side, and then uh, all your uh, cap, make sure you get the 0W20, uh, okay, so I got the full synthetic uh, oil, okay, and after that, the oil filter is on the passenger side, right there, the orange filter. Also the drain plug I forgot to mention. It's right here. So yeah, I just got uh, two of this uh, bubbling uh, oil from uh, Walmart. It was only uh, $24.99. And then a uh, frame uh, PH 7317 uh, filter, about $3.88. So I got two of them. There were only two left, so I might well, well uh, purchase it before it's uh, low on the stock. So anyway, the, it takes about 5.7 uh, liter for the Honda Pilot with, with the with the oil filter installed. So let's go and then uh, do this. Make sure you have uh, the funnel uh, and then the oil pan that I put inside the plastic bag. So the oil doesn't uh, get over the place. So make sure you have a big pan so you can cover the oil on your car, okay? Or it's gonna overflow. Okay. I'm uh, using this uh, 17 millimeter, the socket to take out the drain uh, plug. All right, so I gotta use the 17 uh, millimeter. <coughs> to break it loose. Now you can uh, use your hand. To unscrew the oil, make sure the oil pan is right there, okay? Uh, the other ratchet was too long, so... Make sure you have a rag uh, ready because uh, it's gonna score out. Oh, jeez. And be sure to not to lose your crush washer. Make sure you have dirty rag ready. Just clean your hand and stuff. And uh forgot to open this. Take out your dipstick so the oil could drain faster that way. And I'm gonna clean with the rag. Yeah, it's uh, pretty uh dirty. So uh, once you have finished draining, we're gonna cap it up and then uh, remove the oil filter by hand. <sighs> yeah, the oil stinks, eh?
So uh, this uh, PH7317 is also uh, used on the Honda Civic. I believe uh, maybe on the Honda Core and everything. So 10,000 mile protection. So and uh, we're going to uh, open this up and dump some of the oil in there. I like to dump like uh, at least like a, a quarter in their oil filter all right in there and also lubricate on the rubber seal i'm not sure why other uh, youtubers they use uh, oil, oil to loop it around the ring so i like to use a new one so going to uh, cut this open and uh, there's a tab right here i need to pull it out Oh, so this is much easier than the mobile uh, one. So I'm gonna dump some in there. Uh, I need to both hands because I don't want to spill over here. So I'm gonna use uh, both hands and then uh, dump it in there. All right. So let me use this uh, new oil to lubricate around the ring right here. <sighs> yeah, that oil really stinks. The old one. So you don't want to over tie this. Normally you want to use uh, your hand to tie up the oil filter. Because uh, when the engine starts and everything, all the pressure is going to make the oil very tight. So just uh, hand tie this. So yeah, it's a good thing that the frame has this uh, black, almost like a sandpaper. So you get a better grip when you try to make it tighter or loosen it up from uh, your oil uh, filter. All right. Yeah, so the oil filter is all the way in there. So I need to rem uh, maneuver around, so. And it's a bad design because uh, oil is gonna drain on the axle. And if you don't clean it uh, enough, it's gonna make you think like the oil is dripping. So I got a uh, hand loosen already. Uh, let me make sure I move my uh, oil pan right here. Closer where it's gonna drip. Oh, oh, oh. Make sure it's dripping into your oil pan. I was gonna have a problem. I see it's dripping on the axle, so make sure you gotta clean it on the bottom and also on the where you drip it from the top. Right? So we're gonna let it finish dripping more. Wow. So it's a good thing that I didn't uh, plug it back 
the oil drain, because it's coming out a lot from the the drain plugs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, use a rag to clean the filter uh, mouth. You can see the old oil filter is all around the the ring, which is all brown. So let's go ahead and do that before we put the new uh, filter uh, in there, all right? Let's clean it. So this is the tricky part, okay? Because uh, the thread, you have to face in the right angle in order to uh, screw the oil filter in. So you want to support the filter while you try to push the filter up to the mouth where the screws, uh, the threading is at, right? Uh, let's try this. Oops. Anyway, so I screw in already. There you go. Just uh, hand tied it. All right, so that should be enough. Just a slow trip. I'm not gonna wait any more longer. <sighs> Let me uh, wipe it clean real quick. So make sure you don't cross thread it, just hand tie it. And then after that, if it's hand tie already, then use uh, your socket. <laughs> Clean it one more time. You want to go ahead and wipe out all this uh, all your tripping on the filter earlier. Make sure you clean the top too. Oh my god, okay. See, it's all dripping right here on the axle. So make sure you get a good, nice clean. Else, if you park on your driveway, it's gonna make you think like you didn't do your job right. Yeah, there's a uh, under here the gap. See, whole bunch of oil. Make sure you clean right there too, on the top of the axle. Well, that's gonna drip down to your driveway again. So whatever you can see or you can to clean it up nicely. I better make sure I. 
tie up the, the drain plug. Some, sometimes I film it and I forgot it, I'll be in big trouble. Should be good. Alright, so we finished uh, down there already the drain plug and then uh, oil filter and make sure everything is tied up. And we're gonna add a new oil on the top right now. So make sure you use a funnel. We're going to add the whole five uh, quarts in there. So the oil is right there, is which is on the very low side. So we need to add about 0 0.7 uh, liter more. So right here is uh, one two, three, four. So we're probably gonna add it when it's down here, okay? Or maybe right here. It is better to add little by little instead of adding way too much, then you might have to drain some uh, extra oil out, okay?
All right, so around the dot right here, which is good. Be sure to put the cap back. Oh yeah, be sure to uh, reset your oil. Let me start the car. Are they changes you still have a uh, maintenance due right there? You need to go to your setting or menu first. Go to setting. Go to vehicle. Scroll down. Maintenance uh, info. We're gonna reset it, okay? B is for oil and filter. One is for tire rotation. And I'm gonna reset. All right, and then uh, you're set. So no more uh, error uh, message over there. All right. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or drop any other comments down below. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, like always. Peace.